So next we're going to take a quick look at the Maps application just so you can get a bit of a feel for the speed of the device. So when I click on the Maps application, it jumps straight up. I, I've then got let Windows Maps access your location. I can obviously hit the yes button. It'll go away now and find out where we are based on IP address and it will then zoom in as we can see there's a little, a little blue dot there. Obviously what I can do is I can just click on the blue dot and zoom straight in. Uh, I can then tilt that if I want to and of course I can zoom out and zoom out and zoom out and if this is your kind of thing you can you can keep going and keep going. Obviously I can move that to an aerial view as well. You can see when I move to an aerial view I get a complete map of the globe and I can pick it up and spin it round and zoom in and zoom out. So if I just zoom that in now we should find ourselves back in Bells Hill. Keep going and going and going and you can see just how quickly it's redrawing drawing the screens there as I'm doing that. And obviously I can use the minus button if, if you're more comfortable doing that than using the multi-finger gesture. And you can just get an idea of just how quick the device is from that. And obviously for things like 3D modeling, I've seen this demonstrated with, with wireframes and also solid 3D modeling, and it's incredibly fast. So for anyone demonstrating something uh, in perhaps AutoCAD, uh, also a fantastic tool. Very powerful built-in i7 processor in the device itself with a built-in PC. Uh, obviously, one of the most um, common applications that would be used on the, on the board is Microsoft Excel. So let's just quickly zoom into Microsoft Excel. Again, you see the speed that these applications open. So just picking, these are obviously pre-built in um, uh, sort of templates for Excel. So if I just decide to jump into one of these Excel templates, it will then give me the Excel template. And again, I could uh, type into any of these boxes and I can obviously, uh, where there is the ability to do input, I can change things, maximum value, minimum value, and I can adjust graphs and do all the normal things you'd expect to do in Excel. Uh, if I just jump back out of Excel there, obviously I've got Microsoft Word there as well, and I can put those two side by side. Again, obviously templates. And if I want to type something in, I've got the ability to just type straight in there with the pop-up keyboard. So let's just shut, the, shut those two applications down and let's just jump back and have a quick look at um, Microsoft Edge. So Internet Explorer's replacement, Microsoft Edge, a very, very fast, rapid web browser. Just want to kind of show you on here uh, the video and the quality of the video um, that, that, that is uh, built into the hub. So if I just uh, say do a normal search here and you can see I can move the keyboard around wherever I want to uh, so that it's comfortable for me while I'm presenting. And I'm just going to type in, I'm interested in videos on Surface Hub. And hopefully if I go to videos now and again, you can see the speed that it's bringing up everything. So let's just do this one here. Looks like quite an interesting one. We want and every meeting to be great, where things just click, where ideas flow and work gets done. The problem is technology hasn't been designed for the way we want to work together until now. With Microsoft Surface Hub, you can unlock the power of the group. You can walk up and share your ideas on a canvas as big as your imagination. You can touch the data. So I'm not gonna play the whole video there, but just to give you an idea of the quality of the audio and video that's possible through the device, again, um, built-in speakers. So if I just zoom out of that there, obviously any website or any application that is accessed via a web browser will run on the Surface Hub as well. So if you wanted to, de to demonstrate an application or perhaps we're in a training session using content straight from the web, you can do that as well as installing applications directly onto the Surface Hub device or mirroring it from a PC, which I'm going to come on and show you.